Here we go, folks. Big Cotters hosting the Bills on Thanksgiving. Bills are 4-6, and six, but something tells me they're still going to be problematic in sim with Josh Allen at quarterback, and they'll probably have him tuck it and run about 14 times on us. We have the NFC Defensive Player of the Week in Joel Salen, two tackles, a pick, and a touchdown. So that's nice. And we have a breakout DB chance. For a development trait upgrade. And that DB is Joel Salen. He can upgrade to Superstar X Factor if we hold Josh Allen less than less to a hundred passing yards. That's not happening. Three plus picks, forced fumbles, TFLs or sacks. Joel, you'll have to be happy with superstar development for this season because none of that shit is going to happen. Now, upgrades for this week, we have Bryant Williams, Andrew Tyson, Troy Williams, and Brady Lang, the backup middle linebacker, not the quarterback. Each get skill point upgrades. Troy's an 86 now. Are you top of the league in sacks? Last time it didn't show you. You did get a sack last week. The game you missed tonight, uh, that put you at 11 and a half, and the top three are 13, 13, and 12 there. So you're close. You're, I think you're tied for fourth or fourth by yourself. So here we go. Big game. Bills are four and six, but I have a feeling this is going to be a tough game regardless when we actually sim it. And we will be wearing the blacks here on Thanksgiving Day. Not the Grays, although we'll bring the Grays back out later in the year for sure. Where are the blacks? Show me the blacks. There they are. The 2000s alternate blacks. Here we go. Cotters and Bills Thanksgiving Day. Tim Wallace is nowhere to be found. What a shame. Greg Terry is nowhere to be found. Should have checked the injury report again before this game, but I think Kieran was going to be back. Ford Field in Cotterville. For this one. Bill's wearing some interesting unis too. Those are an alternate white with the stripes on them. Cotter's pulling out the blacks with the gray helmets. These have grown on me now that I see the players wearing them. First time I saw them last time I said they were ugly. I take that back. They're, they're solid. Cotter's lose the toss so they'll have to receive but worked out for them last game. As Tyler Bass kicks it off, Cotters receive. Jordan Elliott will bring it out. And here we go, and he gets to the 20. Jordan Elliott is such an ass returner. Black with the gray pants is interesting, and then the black socks. We got the white sleeves. I like these a lot. They've grown on me a ton since I first called them ugly. These are solid with the blue numbers too, interesting. I like these a lot. First down for the Cots, first play in the black uniforms is a Tim Wallace carry and it goes nowhere. Two yard gain. 86 yards last week, midday. He is over a thousand on the year. Seven touchdowns is a mid number. Would love to juice those up. But Wallace, I believe, is top three in rushing in the league on 10-minute quarters, which is pretty damn impressive. Lang to throw here, second and eight, and completes it. That is Andrew Tyson. Ten-yard gain. I'll try to edit it for black pants next time. I agree. The gray pants are the only thing I don't like. 
Nothing for Wallace on first down. Empty backfield on second down for Lang. And he'll throw quick and complete quick. Polvi nine yards, third and inches upcoming. We know Caleb will pussy out if we don't get it, so let's get it. And we do, Tim Wallace first down. Wallace ran sideways. Had a little bit of a hole there and has the speed to outrun the tackler and instead he ran right into him. And he is averaging two yards a carry through his first four. Let's air it out. Run game. Bills have a great run defense even though they're four and six. And there it is again. Let's throw the ball. There's Jordan Elliott to try to give him a different look and it didn't work. not a bad idea Troy first down big Cotters quick throw by Lang to Jordan Elliott and a big third down conversion for the Cotters who are in Bill's territory handoff blown up run game's not working so let's adjust run game's not there Bill's run defense has been phenomenal let's throw the ball They'll throw. Complete. Nothing downfield. It's all short passing game. But hey, 4 for 4 start for Lang. 35 yards. It is third and four. Big play coming here. Very edge of field goal range. Wallace gets the run on third down, and there's a first. Very interesting call by Caleb. Run game has not been working all day. Last thing the Bills would expect there is a run on third and four, and he hands it off. I really like that. Good start by Caleb and the offensive staff. First and 10. They go right back to the run game on first down, and that's not working. Never mind. Shit start. Shit start offense, if staff. Seven carries for 13 yards for Tim. That third down carry is the only positive today. Hunter Dickinson in a tight end here. So what do you know? It's probably going to be a run. And it is. And it's going nowhere. This is insane. Eight carries on the first drive of the game, and none of them have gone anywhere. Take out that four-yard carry, seven for 11. Caleb insisting on establishing the run game here. Now they'll throw Lang. Complete, what a catch by Andrew Tyson. The 5'9 slot receiver got up for that one. Big catch, Lang is 5'5". Five five. Back to Wallace for the ninth time on the drive, and there's a big time run. He stiff-armed two guys for an eight yard gain. There we go. Inside the 10 are the Cotters. And this drive has taken a ton of clock here in the first. Incomplete looking for Holvey. Edmonds broke it up and it's third and two. Would hate to settle for three here after an eight minute first drive. Need this third and two. Hand off Wallace, he gets it. And the Cotters will have first and goal. 10 carries on the drive for Wallace. Hasn't been great, but man, get this man a fan and some Gatorade on the sideline after this drive. Let's see if they give it to him for an 11th time. Elliott's in. Throw. Nearly intercepted. Brady Lang. My fucking God, man. You are so lucky. That ball was in the air for five seconds. Elliott. St if he stole Tim's touchdown after this drive, bro. He gets down to the one. That would have been unreal. Not sure which running back that is in. Fullback is in Troy Williams. And that is Greg Terry stealing the touchdown. Tim was too tired to finish the drive, and Greg Terry's first carry of the season is a touchdown. That is insane. 
First carry all year for Terry is a touchdown. What a run, by the way. Bulldoze that dude. He got blown up at the two by Ed Oliver, one of the better defensive tackles in football, and ran him over. Okay, Greg, maybe get him some more snaps. Two yards per carry, Terry gets a one-yard touchdown, so I'm not sure that the nickname is going to change after that. But, hey, nice run. Elliott extra point is good. 20 plays, 80 yards, 839. The longest drive of the year for the Cotters. Maybe the longest drive in the NFL all year. Show me another 20-play drive across the league, please. That could be the longest drive in NFL history. My God. Probably not that, but Jesus, 20 plays, bro. Bills will start with 114 on the clock. Longest drive in NFL history is 21 plays, so we weren't far off. Yikes. Josh Allen's numbers are pretty good there, even though the Bills are 4 and 6. Cotters have a tall task here. See if they can bring pressure. Quick throw by Allen, complete tackle by Tosk. Pair of number 13s fighting with each other, Gabe Davis and Tosk, seven yard gain. Allen in trouble, and he nearly threw a pick to Keefe. Hit him in the dick, and it's third and three. Not sure who brought pressure there, I think it was Troy. Third and three, Allen steps up. That is nearly intercepted by Terry. And it's incomplete, and the Bills will punt. Cotter's drive lasted eight and a half minutes. Bills drive lasted 40 seconds, and they'll punt. Quite the start, time of possession-wise, for the Cotters. And good kick coverage there by Jordan Elliott, or bad return by Jordan Elliott. Good kick coverage by the Bills, I should say. Cotter's start, 28 seconds to go in the first. They have had the ball for eight more minutes than the Bills in this one here on Thanksgiving Day. Lang throws a pick. And there is some green grass. Down to the 15 goes Neal. And Brady Lang, comical, comical throw. Wasn't a linebacker that time, was a safety, but same concept. Dude is standing right in front of the route and Lang throws it at him. Every game it happens, every single time. And the Bills, <laughs> what a way to overcome an eight-minute time of possession disparity. Get the ball at the 14. Allen in trouble, under pressure. He goes down. It's Bryant Williams. What a start by the Cotter defense. Nine-yard sack. That's the end of the first. Man, that ended poorly with the Lang pick, but other than that, the Cotters just absolutely owned that first quarter in every way. What a start by the Cotters. Can they hold the Bills here with either a turnover or just hold them to three? We will see second and 19 field flip now. Allen. That is caught, wow, tight window throw to Stefan Diggs. All you can do is tip your cap, that is an unreal throw. There was three defenders surrounding Diggs there and he fitted in there, Tosk makes the tackle. Bills have negative two total yards and a chance at a touchdown here. Allen keeps, Allen in trouble, throws it incomplete out of the back of the end zone. Davis could not get the foot in, Cotters hold him to three. They are lucky there as Davis was wide open. He just couldn't stay in. 7-3 ball game. Bills within four despite having two total negative two total yards in the game so far. Cotter offense will look to not throw a pick on the first play this drive. Elliott on the return to the 27.
And off to Jordan Elliott. Tim Wallace might be hurt. That might explain why Elliott and Terry got carries on that end of drive. They gave him 10 carries on the first drive, and he must have gotten hurt. Gotta love how Madden just doesn't add the injuries in anymore. Like, show a guy actually get hurt. Yeah, Elliott's in again, gets the pitch and loses too. Tim Wallace is hurt, so we'll see if we can get an update on that. Probably have to wait till after the game because of Madden. Because if I try to press, press exit, it won't let me get to the menu to check. I'll try. After this play. What a job. I mean, go fuck yourself, Caleb. We're going to run it three times to our backup running backs and punt. What an ass. I fucking hate Caleb Cotter. Greg Terry goes nowhere there. Two yards of carry, Terry gains zero. Didn't see the offsides. Missed that. But either way, fuck Caleb Cotter. Fuck him. Let's see if it lets me go to the menu here. It will not. What do you know? Fuck off, Madden. Unreal. I was trying to check the injury update by going to the menu, and it doesn't let me. I guess I should have gone to fast uh, game speed. Maybe that would have changed things. Bill started at the 31. Caleb Cotter's been such an asshole in this game. Dude needs to be unemployed tomorrow. Allen takes off, and... Nice tackle, Jackson Rydell. Allen only picks up six. Second and four for the Bills. Singletary reaches, and they give it to him. Terry made the tackle, but Singletary picks up the first. Allen. Steps up and completes it. That was really weird. It looked like he was about to chuck it at the ground. And instead completed it to Isaiah McKenzie. Working on Alex Amari. And the Bills are moving the football. Not an ideal sequence of events for the Cotters since their 20-play drive. Play action. Josh Allen with time and completes it to Gabe Davis. Tight coverage by Tosk, but it didn't matter. Allen is starting to feel it now. Cotter defense needs to step up. And a sack will do that for you. Ben Keefe, quiet all year long. That's a big play, eight yard loss. Let me check this replay to see if someone jumped. Yo. What a bitch-ass pile of refs. He clearly jumped there. My God. I didn't notice that live. I was focused on kid play call. Thank you for clipping that. Second and 18 for the Bills. Allen quick throw. It is intercepted by Joel Salen, the defensive player of the week, with another pick. Wow. What a play. That is a hell of a play. Looking for digs on the slant and Joel jumps it. Cotter offense back on the field and the defense steps up again. Offense has been really mid the last two weeks. Defense has carried this team. Can the offense return the favor? That's a decent start, Sam Hovey, gain of seven. I forgot that Joel has the X-Factor challenge. If he gets three plus picks slash sacks slash force fumbles slash TFLs. He's got one. Two more to go and he's got X-Factor. Or we hold the Bills to under 100 passing yards, which actually I guess is possible. They have like 50 so far. Third and two. Please don't punt away. Hand off to Elliott. And he finds a whole nice run by Elliott. This is going to be a struggle to run the ball with no Wallace for the rest of this game. I would recommend throwing it, Caleb. That's just me, though. Who in the world is in the backfield? He looks like he's eight feet tall. 
It is Terry, who, I, who must be like a 6'5 running back. His bro is massive. And he gets eight. Cotters are just running it like crazy with backups. This is unreal. I mean, it works a little bit. I mean, sort of. It didn't work last drive, but... Caleb Cotter wants to run the ball, and he doesn't care if fucking Austin Cotter is going to be the running back. He's going to run it. And Williams in at fullback again. This is going to be a run or play action. It's going to be play action this time. Lang will throw a pick. I mean, come on. Come on, Brady. This cannot happen. Lang has looked like a pile of shit in this game. Two first half picks, and I don't know where the fuck this one was going. Looking for Farmer, but I mean, buddy, there's a safety standing there. That cannot be thrown. And the Bills get handed another chance. We got six viewers. I don't know how that's possible because there's like four people in the chat. Some randoms might be watching. Welcome to Cotter Football if you're random. And first and ten. Quick throw and complete by Allen. You guys also not look good. And the Bills are 30 away from getting that 100 passing yards that will screw Joel's X Factor over. We already saw the Curbelo line, Sam. It's a fluke game. We don't care. First and ten, Allen will complete it to Dawson Knox. Tight coverage by Rick Rourke. Second and four, Allen again. Complete to Singletary. Cotter defense. Wake up, guys. Lang has made it tough on you, I know, but let's make a play. Williams nearly got home. Really nice block by the running back. And Allen with a dangerous throw. Incomplete. Dump off to Knox. Tackle made by Greg Terry. And it's third and seven. And this is not field goal range. Cotters can hold them pointless here if they get a stop. The screen goes off his helmet. And the Cotter defense comes through to bail out the offense again. This 60-yarder will not go in, I'll tell you that right now. And the Cotters get a stop. And they have field position now for the offense. They'll start at midfield. Lang, all day, sacked. What do you know, he takes a shit sack. Now that time, I shouldn't have said all day because that time pressure actually got there pretty quick, but still, please throw the ball. Please throw the ball. Second and 21 now, just screwed our chance at points. Quick throw, complete, never mind. Kieran Tawari, first down. Big time play, and the Cotters burn a timeout. And it's first down well within Elliott's field goal range. Maybe not well within, but it within for sure. Lang, please do not take a sack. Throws it and drops. Tyson dropped it. Second down. Lang to throw and complete and out of bounds goes Tyson. Gain of six. Cotters to the 30. They keep that final timeout. 39 seconds to go. Lang will throw. He will complete. Sam Holvey to the 15. And now what do the Cotters do? Will they get another playoff with a chance to score a touchdown? 20 seconds. They'll go hurry up. They do not burn the timeout. They're going to take a chance here. Lang complete can he get there he'll get to the line timeout and i think caleb will probably play it safe and kick if i had to guess i'd love if he took a chance he will thank god madden coach logic actually is decent 13 seconds first and goal you cannot take a sack unbelievable you gotta be fucking kidding me i have no words right now i have no motherfucking words right now there's one thing you cannot do there, and it's take a motherfucking sack. 
We head to halftime. Cotter's up 7-3, but couldn't be more disappointed with that result. Three to seven points were sitting in their lap, and Brady Lang, who had just an absolutely abysmal half, took a sack to screw him. Two picks and that. My God, Joel Salen start throwing the ball on the sideline. Not that I can actually make a change because I can't get to the menu, but start throwing the ball. Other than that second half against the Commanders, this is the worst half of Lang's career, no question. And the Cotters will have to play the second half without Tim Wallace. They're going to be in an uphill climb here. Bills will start with the ball. Uh, defense has played very well. They'll have to carry him again because this offense ain't doing shit. 20 yard, 20 play drive to start the game since then. It's been just absolutely abysmal. Defense probably needs a defensive touchdown to win this one, if you ask me. Could use one of those. Bills start with it to start the second half. New half. Wipe that first half out of your mind. Let's get a Thanksgiving Day win here. Eat some post-game turkey. Singletary with a decent first down run. Gain of seven. Only his second rush of the day. But that's mainly because the Bills have barely touched the field on offense. Allen keeps on the option. Great tackle, Rydell. He only gets one. Had a blocker in Dawson Knox, and Rydell just freaking beat him. Third and two, Cotters can get off the field here. Allen drops back, he'll throw, and he has a man. First down, Dawson Knox is standing there open. Five yards away from screwing Joel's X Factor. I think it's inevitable at this point. Now Joel can still get two more picks here and get X-Factor or a TFL. Allen throwing, and that'll be a gain of five, and there it is, the 100-yard mark. That dream is dead. Now focus on winning a game. Second and five. Bills have only run it four times. They're going to throw the 17th time. Allen spins and completes in front of Amari. That is... Somebody that I don't recognize. Jamison Crowder. First down, Bills and Cotter territory. The defense gives up a touchdown here. Not sure how much faith I have in Brady Lang today. Nice tackle. Greg Terry always making plays in the run game. That is the NFL's leading tackler coming up with another one. Gain of two. Stepping up and completing. Van S. Tackle. Third and two. Cotters can get a stop here and force a long field goal. What can they do on third and two? Allen will complete the Knox again. Gotta have a man helping on Dawson Knox on third down. That's the second third down catch by him on the drive. And the Bills have it at the 25-yard line. And Allen will step up and complete the Crowder first down. Josh Allen starting to cook now. It was a matter of time for him. Cotter offense needs to make a big play. Diggs in motion. Allen drops back. They'll throw yet again. Diggs is there. Nice tackle. That is Brady Lang. The backup middle linebacker. Hopefully there's no injury and he's just giving someone a breather. Singletary, only the fifth run of the day for the Bills, and he is just barely short. Nice touchdown saving tackle by Terry. And they will have first and goal from the one. Fullback in the game. Box stacked for the Cotters here. Can they come up with a goal line stand? They cannot. Touchdown, Bills. They have the lead. That is Zach Moss. 10-7 game here on Thanksgiving. And that was a six-minute drive by the Bills to start the half. Answering what the Cotters did to start the game in a little bit of a smaller sense there with a long touchdown score and drive to grab the lead. How will the Cotters respond yet to be seen? Extra point upcoming. 
and it is good. I said it before it even went through because Madden does not have extra point misses very often. 12 play drive, six minute drive. Cotter offense needs to not turn it over. Brady Lang, your hat, the first half was shit. Wipe that out of your mind and play the ha second half of your life here and no one will remember it. As Elliott returns it and will probably come in at running back as well. Gonna be tough here in the second half to play without Wallace as well. Definitely something that is a, cannot be overlooked. Brady Lang is going to have to win this game for the Big Cotters. But Caleb will not refuse to hand it off. That is Elliott, gain of five. Give me one second, I gotta get a sip of water. Second and five. Williams in at fullback. Terry in at running back. They bring a lineman here across. And they hand it to Terry, and he gets blown up. And it is third and four. Please throw the ball, Caleb Cotter. I get that Lang has been asked. But our backup running backs are very mid, and it's obvious. Third and four, Lang needs to make a play. He does! It's Van S. do we have another injury? Please tell me we don't. Van S. makes a play. Cotters to the 45. Lang, nice route, Kieran Tawari, seven yard out. His second catch after being out last week with an injury. Nice blocking by Kennedy there. And a nice throw. Kieran Tawari again. And the Cotters are moving the football. Here we go, offense. Now just don't turn it over, Lang. X-Factor activated. No excuses. Let's do this. Throwing. Complete again. First down. That is Tawari for the third straight time. This 99 to 88 connection is going nuts on this drive. Let's finish it with a touchdown, how, don't, how about we? In the red zone, Tawari in motion. Fake the touch pass to him and the run goes nowhere. Just give it up, Caleb. Nine for 31 is garbage. We do not need any more Elliott in our lives. Sorry, Jordan. Lang. Troy Williams in the flat. Pickup of four, and it brings up a crucial third down that we will maybe have to wait until the beginning of the fourth quarter for unless they snap it here. Will the Cotters get the snap off? They will not. We head to the fourth quarter. We got a heck of a Thanksgiving battle here in Cotterville. 10-7 Bills Cotters with a crucial third down. Let's please get more than two viewers watching this huge fourth quarter, which should be exciting. Big, big third down, and they hand it off, and it works. Elliott to the five. I was about to get livid at Caleb for that play call. And it works out. I will not doubt Caleb for the next minute. That's my promise to him after that call. Cotter's first and goal. Ballsy call there. Jordan Elliott with a big time run. They give it back to him, and he is going to get stood up. Second and goal from the three. Lang, throwing. It is a touchdown for the big Cotters. Mike Farmer, great play. Cotters lead here to start the fourth. Nice response by the offense after the way the half ended and the two picks. They take the lead. Lang to Farmer, tight window throw. And Farmer uses that seven foot body to haul it in. 8.57 to play, Cotters have a 14 to 10 lead. 11 plays, 73 yards, five minutes. What can the defense do? Yep. 
They'll start from the 25. Twenty-eight rushing yards for the Bills today. 125 passing. Allen will throw. Incomplete. Just unbelievable throw. Gabe Davis over the middle. First down. Cotters need to come up with a big play because Josh Allen and Sim looks pretty darn good. They'll give it to Singletary. Going almost nowhere. He found his way to get three. Troy Williams ultimately pulls him to the ground. Second and seven. Singletary again blown up. That is Terry. Third and six, huge opportunity for the Cotters to get off the field. One-on-one, -on -one, top of the screen, Diggs and Salen, what a matchup. And they ganned it to Singletary, Caleb Cotter style, but it doesn't work for Ken Dorsey and the Bills, and they will punt. I thought Singletary actually had a hole there, but someone made a hell of a tackle. Probably Terry, knowing how good he is. Cotter offense can put it away now. And an ass punt as well to help things. They'll start at the 23. Touchdown here, and the Cotters are 9 and 2. Simple as that. Elliott. Seven yards. Rolls over Milano, too. Actually got eight. Brennan Elliott's been solid. Very, very solid in Tim's spot here. We'll see how long Tim's out after this week, but Jordan Elliott's played a solid, solid game. Give him credit. Lang. All fucking planet to throw, and he takes a sack. What do you know? I mean, it's just, you know, it's a given at this point. Third and 16 now. It was second and two. Just take a 14-yard sack there. Yep. Yeah. No biggie. Pull something out of your ass here. Third and 16. Conservative throw and complete to Tyson. Nowhere near the marker. Cotters will punt from their own 26. And Josh Allen will have another chance. Jordan Elliott is now the Cotter punter. Jack Fox working at his local Burger King. And Elliott's punt is a boomer. Very solid punt. Good punt protection there by the Bills, and they actually get it past the 40. Take some fucking notes, Cotter special teams, please. It's about a 13-yard return. Haven't had one of those all year. And Josh Allen has a chance to win a ball game here. And he will, oh my God, whoever that was needs to have a bomb dropped on their house. Jamison Crowder. You just sold your team. Thank you, sir. Second and ten. Allen, complete. That is going to be eight yards. What a frickin' tackle. Who made that? Owen Van Hess just absolutely hauled him backwards. And it brings up third and two. Will the Bills run it here, or will they put it in Allen's hands? They'll run it, and a hold is going to bring it back. He didn't get it anyway. Greg Terry... Please decline this penalty. Well, actually, it's going to be a tough decision. They probably punt on fourth and one. Just decline it. He declines it, and it might burn him because uh, McDermott's going to keep his offense on the field. Allen hands the Singletary, and they get it. Should have accepted the penalty, Caleb. Should have accepted it. Bills now... In Cotter territory, another handoff. Why are why are both teams just insisting on running the ball? I don't get it. I'm not really going to complain, though. 3.40 to go. Second and six. This is what football is all about. Allen in trouble. He takes off, and he is going to get smacked by Greg Terry, third and four. Massive play in the ball game. No Cotter's jump, thank you very much. And a completion to Dawson Knox. 
Every third down the Bills have converted has been that same exact route by Knox. Every single one of them. Make a goddamn adjustment. 2.30 to go. We got a nail biter here in Cotterville. Allen in trouble, gets rid of it and completes it to Singletary. He's not going to gain anything, but what a job by Allen. Take some motherfucking notes, Lang, on how to get rid of the ball before getting sacked. Two minute warning in Cotterville. We only have two fucking viewers, of course. And this is the most exciting Cotter game of the year. Can the defense get a stop? Second and ten. Allen, pressure. Singletary spin move will get about eight. And it brings up a third and two. And the Bills go hurry up. They're not even going to talk this over. They're going to get to the line. Throw quick. That is dangerous. Tipped in the air. It's intercepted. Rick Rourke off the deflection. And that could be the one for the Cotters. Allen, dangerous throw, double coverage, tipped in the air, and a great play by Rourke. Looking for Davis and didn't get it. Great coverage by Salen with Rydell helping. Rick Rourke might be your hero. One more first down needed for this Cotter offense with backup running backs. What do they have in them? Still got to put it away. There is a first down run that is solid. Four yard pickup, timeout Bills. And officially, one first down ends the game. Elliott in at running back with Love Wallace here. Hunter Dickinson in to block, and he missed his block completely. Go fuck yourself, Big Hunt. Hunter Dickinson whiffed on his block assignment there and a two-yard loss. Bills have a chance here. Will the Cotters throw? There's a chance. They will. Lang throws. It is complete, and the Cotters are going to win it. Andrew Tyson. Big Cotters are going to knock off the Bills here on Thanksgiving and move to 9-2. and two. Packers take on the Eagles on Sunday night, and they have a chance to go up two and a half games in the division. As Caleb looks to stat pad here on this draw, on this down. Took one knee and said, nah, we're going to stat pad. If they fumble here, it's all his fault. Elliott first down. Great performance, Jordan Elliott and Tim's, Tim's relief. And the Cotters officially win the ball game. Nine and two sounds quite nice. They do have to get one more snap off here. Don't fumble it for a touchdown and that, and it's over. And they will not. 14-10 your final wasn't pretty. Cotters made a massive play. Rick Rourke off the deflection on the last drive. Picks off Josh Allen. And the Cotter defense carries in this one. Offense had a couple good drives. Lang was not great. But the defense has played their butts off the last couple weeks. The black uniforms look sexy. And the Cotters get it done. Keep on winning. We'll check on those injuries. I think Sam Holby got hurt because we saw a lot of Troy Williams. And obviously Wallace got hurt. We'll check on those. Check stats first. Lang very midday. In fact, a bad day, you might say. 18-23, 184 touchdown, two picks. Throw that one in the toilet. Elliott. 15 for 68. Solid. Solid. Made some big plays. Tim Wallace, shitty day and injured. Tough day for him. Greg Terry got the only touchdown for the big cutter offense in the run game. Tyson, 5 for 47. Holvey, 4 for 41. I think he might have gotten hurt as well. Tawari, 4 for 61. Farmer, 2 for 10 and a touchdown. All you need. Have a good day. Troy Williams, 5 yards. Van S, 12 yards. Elliott, 8 yards. Terry with a drop. Two sacks allowed for Reed, one for Kennedy. Were those really sacks allowed? No. Lang held it for four years. And Terry with another 15 tackle day. This guy's unbelievable. Best linebacker in all of football, there's no question. One TFL, it was Alex Amari. Two sacks, Keith and Williams each had one. Bryant Williams, not Troy. Picks by Salen and Rourke. Pass deflections by Salen and Rydell. 
No forced fumbles, no touchdowns. Kicking Jordan Elliott was perfect on extra points, didn't kick a field goal, and was better than Jack Fox punting. And that'll do it. We will check upgrades and the injury report and see you back here tomorrow night for some more action as the Cotters are 9-2. and two. We'll check the Packers score as well, see how much of a lead we have. Owen Van Ness gets an upgrade to a 77. The middle linebacker duo has been great for the Cotters this year. And view message breakout player Joel did not get the things he needed. That's not the game I wanted to have. Well, he had the game ceiling pass deflection and a pick. So let's, I mean, I get holding yourself to high standards, Joel, but I mean, you played your butt off in that game. Stefan Diggs had like three catches. Injury report. How bad is Tim's injury? Not bad at all because he is not listed here. So he will be back next week. Love to see that. Avoid major injury. Didn't see Holvey listed there either. So the Cotters do not get a major injury with their starting running back. Did the Packers lose? They did not. So the Cotters will maintain their game and a half lead. Packers beat the Eagles. Damn. That hurts. Tim Wallace leads the NFL in rushing yards, and he missed three quarters of the game and plays on 10-minute quarters. I mean, best running back in football, I would say so. If that's not proof, I don't know what the fuck is. Any other leaders here? Troy Williams is so close to being on that sack list. And Joel's got to be so close to being on that pick list. He's got three or four picks. He actually is. I missed him. Tied for second with Jamal Adams, who somehow has four picks. Joel also has ten pass deflections. Definitely an all-pro. And a couple more upgrades before I end the stream. As the Cotters have Jacksonville first game tomorrow night. Jackson Rydell becomes a solid fifth option at receiver, I guess. Not that we really need him, hopefully. Shouldn't jinx anything. But that'll do it for tonight. Cotters are 9-2. and two, Game and a half lead on the division. View playoff picture. Gotta be the one seed with a bye right now. I'd be shocked if anyone's better. They are not. Cotters currently hold a first round bye in the NFC playoffs as well. And we'll look to keep on rolling tomorrow night against the Jacksonville Jaguars. Do we play the Packers Week 18? That would be dope if we do. Because we we've played them once. We don't play them 13, 14, 15, 16. So it's either 17 or 18. Could be for the division, although hopefully we lock it up before then. Good night, Big Cotter Nation. Roll cots.